Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome once again to another Unreal Engine 4 VR tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'll teach you guys how you're going to add a projectile to your game, to your project, and you can shoot it with your headset, like you have seen on games like World of War, to, uh, World War Tunes and others. That you got to shoot everything with your headset, moving your headset around, everything that you got on site. Alright, now let's do this really, really quick. First of all, let's create a new folder. It's going to be projectiles. Now in projectiles, we're going to create a blueprint class. It's going to be an actor. And this one's going to be ball projectile. You can call it bullet magic, ball, fireball, whatever you want. All right. So let's add some components here that we need to add a collision. It's going to be a sphere collision. And we're going to call ball collision. Now we need to add a static mesh. This one's going to be sphere mesh. We're just getting our projectile ready to look good. So let's get sphere mesh, the shape. Now we got to scale it down. We got to put it down now. Let's give a material to this. It's going to be gold. Looking good. Okay. The last component that we need to add is projectile, uh, projectile movement. Projectile movement. There we go. If you don't add this, you're not doing anything. Now let's compile this. For our initial speed, it's going to be 5,000. For the max, it's going to be the same. And also for the velocity on the X, it's going to be the same. Now let's compile. Now for finishing here, we need to go to the event graph so we can add some functions. Now let's delete all these events that we have here because we don't need them. What we really need is the event hit. Now from here, we need to add the impulse, add location. This will tell the velocity and the location of the ball when it comes out. Add impulse at location and it has to be with the ball collision you need to choose the ball collision because if you choose the sphere mesh uh, if you add some collision stuff and you know to walls or anything that you have cars on your project stuff like that the ball won't do anything the projectile won't do anything it won't bounce it won't do anything because it doesn't have a collision so you need to choose the collision okay now that we have it here, let's drag it here. Now we need to get it. We need to get the velocity that we inserted on the projectile movement. So get velocity. Ta -da! And now we need to get get actor location. The actor location that we are getting is the entire ball uh, projectile this actor that we are working right now okay so this goes on location and this one goes on impulse so from here we don't need to do anything else we need just to compile and save and for our next stop is to go to our VR player character we're going to create a function because I don't want to mess in here in the event graph we're going to create a function. It's going to be shoot uh, ball projectile. There we go. Now in here, we are going to spawn the actor from class. So we're telling him that we need to spawn our ball, our projectile ball projectile there we go so now we need to make a transform here transform there we go and now we need to get the headsets location and the rotation so we need to we need to be sure that we're going to get the world location and rotation for the VR camera 
which will be the one that will be you know telling the rotation of the location when you move your head around and stuff like that so we need to get VR camera location this is the get world location and we also need to get the VR camera rotation world rotation now it doesn't matter if you have two of these you can use one if you want doesn't really matter just tell them that it's the same camera anyway okay so for the location you put on the make it transform and the rotation and the make it transform uh, and here we don't need to do nothing else this is all now we need to compile the save it just in case and now we need to add the motion controller we need to add the trigger one of the buttons that we need to use now we need you need to watch here it's not gamepad values you need to choose gamepad events all right so let's find the right motion controller trigger there we go now we're going to drag our shoot bar projectile function and we're going to connect it with the value press on the trigger now let's test it out see how it goes mm, there we go so now from every place that you look you start hitting and hitting your trigger it just keeps shooting and shooting and shooting well guys uh, I think this is all for tonight uh, Saturday I will bring you guys some more stuff to just uh, so you can keep up to date with everything that we're gonna be doing with the VR this is Angel from PRGB Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe if you have subscribed, comment, that will watch you back, and hit the thumb th thumbs up if you like the video. Remember, design, create, and always make it look good. Bye.